And back here at relatively calm Fantasy Springs Resort, we move along on this night of the Olympians, a junior middleweight fight between Olympian Earl Spence Jr. and Jonathan Garcia. Errol Spence hopes to follow in the footprints of several Dallas fighters who've gone on to be champions. And his moment in the sun starts now. Well, I grew up watching a lot of fights like Lennox Lewis, Evander Holyfield, Mike Tyson at the local barbershop. I don't think nobody knew this was gonna happen. You know, especially guys at the barbershop. I never uh, boxed until I was 15. My dad was the main reason I got into boxing. He's a truck driver. Uh, he works the night shift, and then he used to come home probably 2, 2 p.m., 1 p.m., get about two, three hours of rest, and then um, take me to the gym to go train. Then as soon as we get done training, you know, uh, he's right back to work. Olympic Spirits was once in a lifetime. Oh, I enjoyed it. Uh, me representing my country and representing my, uh, my fellow Americans was a great thing. Well, I think my dad is going to be very really proud of me. Uh, him watching my debut and um, him experiencing it with me because, uh, you know, everything I've done, we experienced together in, the, in boxing. He's been with me since day one. And here he is in the same position that those guys he spoke of, Evander Holyfield and Lennox Lewis, were his professional debut. You see his amateur record. Went through the Olympic Games. He got to the, uh, to the third round of the Olympics, but in his second round bout, he actually lost it, and then he appealed that, and he won his appeal. And then he lost a very tough fight to Andre Zamkovoy, who a guy, a guy whom he had beaten earlier in Germany. But that's all behind him. What's ahead of him is a very bright future. Yeah, no doubt, Barry. This is a, a three-time U.S. national amateur champion, and he's only 22 years old. You talk to the uh, the other Olympians, they all tell you he's the hardest worker on the team, and there's a very, very big upside with Errol Spence. You're a Texas guy, Raul. Yes. A lot of great fighters, certainly from the Houston area where you are. He's from Dallas. and been some pretty darn good fighters come out of the Dallas area, too. Yes, there has. And, you know, I think uh, Errol Spence is probably the best pro-ready style prospect out of this bunch. I like the way he, you know, he's aggressive. He sits on his punches. He gives you angles. He takes his time. I think he's a complete package. And I think he's got a very bright future in the professional ranks. We're going to get a good look at him tonight. Standing in the way of him, however, is Jonathan Garcia. He comes to Fantasy Springs by way of Aguadilla, Puerto Rico. He's only 19 years old. He has six professional fights behind him. He's been fighting at 140 pounds, but he comes up to up 14 pounds to fight tonight, and that indeed is a heavy order. Garcia says he can box if that's what needs to be done, or he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe if that's what needs to be done. He was stopped in one round in his last fight by a guy with the name of Cletus Selden that was on July 28th so it's Earl Spence and Jonathan Garcia in the junior middleweight division for the official introduction of the fighters once more we take it to the center of the ring and our ring announcer Joe Martinez and here we go ladies and gentlemen next bout tonight four rounds scheduled in the junior middleweight division again your three judges scoring at ringside on the 10-point must system Ray Corona David Dinkin and Fernando Villarreal when the bell rings, referee in charge of the action, Pat Russell. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing green, trimmed in black, he weighed in officially 149 and one half pounds. As a professional, his record stands even. Three victories, three defeats, one win coming by way of knockout from Aguada, Puerto Rico. Here is La Pesadilla, Jonathan Garcia. And next is opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing red, white, and blue, he weighed in 149 pounds. Tonight, he makes his professional debut, hailing from Dallas, Texas, a 2012 U.S. Olympian. Here is Errol Spence Jr. Watch feet. Four rounds. There's a line right there. There's a line right there. Four rounds. Touch him up. When it's swept good luck. Come out at the bell. And with that, the professional career of Spence starts. Here are the numbers, Steve. And Garcia, seven and a half pounds heavier than his last fight. Spence at a firm and ready 149. Also, Spence a southpaw. This is the first lefty Garcia will have faced as a pro. Round one, Garcia is up in weight, but he said he felt weak at 137. He says, this is really where I should be. Well, we're going to find out. And Spence told us he expects Garcia to come out pretty wild. So 
may see a fairly tentative first round Spence. Let Garcia blow off some steam. Let's see if that's the way Garcia fights. A couple of pretty good short right hands right at the get-go here from Spence. Yeah, Spence got an excellent counter right hook, and that was the right hand that we saw, and I think he buckled Garcia's legs with that right hook. Spence and Steve Farr had mentioned this earlier. Everybody agreed was the hardest working member of the United States Olympic boxing team this past year. He was in the gym after everybody left. Good double right hand by Spence, and he took a right hand from Garcia. Garcia's letting his hands go, something we did not see all of the opponents tonight try and do. Absolutely. Trying to work the body on Spence. Covers up pretty well. well Garcia said he wasn't going to let him get off, and, you know, that's what he needs to do. Stay busy. Stay on top of him. If you let Spence think, that's when you're going to get countered. Meantime, Spence being pretty sharp. Garcia working the body, doing a pretty nice job here. Spence's jab getting through the gloves of Garcia, however, with some consistency, and he came with a nice uppercut there. Two shots to the body by Spence, and a right hand by Garcia. Spence a little bit uh, defensively uh, shaky here in the, in the first round of his pro debut. But look at Garcia pushing the pace. Took a left hand from Spence. Good body shot by Spence. And three to the head by Spence in very quick order. And another. There he goes. He's loosening up more. At the beginning, he was a little bit tight, and as you can see, now he's letting him flow. Sharp with his punches, too, very quick. Yeah, and when he lands, he steps to the side. Doesn't stay in front of his man. Well, look, he doesn't waste any punches at just about every one of them. And he's got Count. Garcia in a defensive posture right now. Garcia says no, which of course generally means yes. Well, this fight went exactly as Spence said it would, with Garcia opening up aggressively and now slowing down. Watch your head. It'd be interested to see uh, oh. the connect percentage of Spence in this first round. That was a good round. Good breath. Don't worry about trying to take him out. Step to the side. Because he's swelling up, remember? He's step up, step to the side. Step up, step to the side. Shoot him over here. Shoot him. Deep breath, deep breath. When you shell up, when you don't shell up, step to the side. Action from round one. Derek James wants land and step to the side. That's largely what he did. Look at him take a half step back there. But with Garcia just wearing the uh, the gloves up high, it's kind of free punching for Errol Spence. He took advantage of it. Everything behind the jab, that's the way he fights. Breathe in, breathe in, set up. Mouthpiece in, shut the shot. Mouthpiece up. That's Steve, me. we talked about connect percentage in the first Shoot. round, and Spence connecting 49% on 44 of 89. For a first time out, first round, pro debut, pretty good. Yeah, and you said it was a good round, and the reason was he did land 49% of the shots, yet he, he got hit a few times as well. Exactly, and when I said good first round, I really meant both guys had their yeah. moments in that round. And in fact, in terms of caliber competition that we've seen so far tonight, that was a good little dance. What was that, Ralph? Uh, just trying to get him off his game plan and showing you, you know, his opponent that he's there. You know, he's ready to be taken. <laughs> That's a sign of not being confident. <laughs> now he's slapping his gloves. Yeah. He's just picking his shots. They're solid shots. They are solid yeah, shots. And he's loading up with them. And you see Garcia holding on. Watch your hands. Spence just really outworking Garcia here. And I started to say, Garcia's the most creditable opponent that I've seen so far tonight. Yeah, and it, he's, the body punches are just, look how he's doubled over. Yeah. The body punches are just taking it out of him. Last time out, Garcia got 
whacked. One punch knockout, brutal. And showing a lot more grit tonight. But perhaps not for long. No, you can see him wearing down here. Yeah, a lot less on Garcia's punches. Now. Yeah, slapping with his punches now. Yeah, the body shots of Errol Spence are taking a toll on Garcia's body. His energy is not the same. Now he's swinging wild. That's where Spence needs to take advantage of it and shoot down the middle. Four punch combination from Spence. Garcia really wearing down here. Good body shot again with the right hand. Spence seems to understand that the uppercut's gonna become a good weapon, the left uppercut, because his opponent is bent over. Two body shots again, slapping left hand from Garcia to no effect. Another good body shot by Spence. No, that's when you find out that he's, he's seeing that I'm not gonna knock this guy with one shot. I gotta put him together. And it, you know, they're all this Olympics are finding out it takes three or four shots to break down your opponent. And then it looks like every Olympic so far is finding out that the body shots are yeah. very important to the professional ranks. Yeah, seems to be the theme of the night, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. There's a familiar face, Steve. Former lightweight champion, Ray Mancini. Great biography out about him right now by Mark Kriegel. Look for that. Ray uh, greeted some of the uh, guests here at the hotel. Looks good, doesn't he? Uh, what, a, what an exciting fighter and sure a great was. story he was in the 80s. He's a good man and, and then, uh, has a production company. He's done some acting. Should we audition? Well, there was a little discussion in Garcia's corner as to whether or not he would go on. In fact, he is. Round three. Garcia, at the end of the third round, or second round, rather, just kind of fell onto his stool. <laughs> well, he's taking a lot of body punches, and, you know, he's fighting a little heavier than he used to. He said he was weak at the lighter weight, but right now he seems, uh, his punches have nothing on them. They're wide, they're sloppy. Had his moment in the first minute of the fight. Good defense there by Garcia. Made Spence miss about three or four shots. Giving him a little head movement there. Yesterday, uh, Barry uh, Spence described himself to us as exciting and explosive. Well, I like the exciting. Now I want to see the explosive. That's right. He's got one out of two so far. Well, he's 50% for the night anyway, right? Exactly. Landed 50% of his power shots. Now, the body's the ticket for him. There's no doubt about that. I'll have to pay some attention to defense also, but this is very much a work in progress. That was a good left hand. That staggered Garcia. Errol Spence working behind that jab with double jab, left hand. Should have come back with a right hook. Two, three good body shots in the left of the head. This seems to be a question of time. Well, 
Well, this round, I don't think Spence has been able to bang to the body quite as much as he would probably have liked. A little bit of movement from Garcia is extending this fight. There's a nice uppercut slipped in by Spence and another one, the left hand. Comes right back and Garcia's down. Up quick wobbly. Seven. Hey, come here. Better show me something when this fight's over. Box. I don't think he understood it because he speaks Spanish, but I'm sure he gets the idea. Spence trying to close the deal here. Legs are gone. Pat Ross is going to jump in. That's it. All over. Well stopped again by Pat Russell. Garcia wasn't offering anything. No, 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 I, I think wait, what I like wait. about Spence is that. His man didn't go right away. He had to work for it. But you got the impression that this fight with 10 rounds, he would have fought the yeah. same way all 10 rounds and gotten rid of his man. Very composed and poised. Yeah, I felt the same way. G give me your own scorecard on, on, I, on Spence. I think that was an excellent work for him, and that's what you want uh, for a pro debut. You just don't want to knock this guy out, bash him out in one round. No, he's going to go back, and every fight is going to be a learning experience from everything, you know, from being in training camp all the way up to the sparring partners, their diets, their strength and conditioning, and, and leading up to the fight itself where they're getting different styles. And this was a, a good style for him to learn. I mean, that's what you want to do in every fight, learn, learn, and learn to get better. And he showed a pretty good arsenal, too. A lot of different kinds of punches, through straight punches, through some hooks, worked the uppercut, pretty good body work. You know, kind of showed the whole package. Yeah, he adjusted on the fly. He was in with a guy who started fast. He let Garcia blow some steam, and there we called for the uppercuts because his man was bent over at the waist. And there he went to it three straight times, landed all three. There's a fourth. And so it was really four uppercuts that produced that knockdown. And look how he takes oh. half steps back to get the proper distance to land those uppercuts with full force. Pretty impressive. Looked like a fighter who really knows what he's doing in there. Well, he sparred with a lot of pros, and you know that's where he gets that from. The way he just was stepping back, and his opponent was just falling into the uppercuts. Triple uppercuts. Right. Really nice work and a good stoppage by Pat Russell for sure. So there you have the winner, Earl Spence, uh, another guy who has taken the first step and done so in successful fashion. And we'll make it official now as we take it to the center of the ring once more and our ring announcer with, let's take a look at our show stats numbers first before we make that all official. And, and again, a dominant performance. Well, 66% of his power shots for Spence, that's amazing. But actually the number that jumps out at me the most is 29 power connects for Garcia, which tells you that for a little bit, he had some success against Spence, especially early. Yeah, I thought he was very credible right at the beginning of the fight, but Spence took over, did what he needed to do, got his man out of there. We go to the center of the ring once more. The ring announcer, Joe Martinez, will make it all official. Joe? Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes, 41 seconds, round number 3. Referee Pat Russell calls a halt to the bout. Your winner by KO victory in his professional debut, Errol Spence. Jr. So there he is, Errol Spence Jr., 241. He said his dad was going to watch this and it would make him very proud, and uh, I'm sure his dad is very proud, and rightly so. Another good fighter from Texas, Raul. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Been a lot of them having there. Darryl Sp or Errol Spence Jr., he's undefeated. He's 1-0, but he's undefeated. And his pal, Errol Spence Jr., did what he had to do. Took him until 241 of the third round to do it, but the bottom line is, he did it, a KO win. Well, Errol Spence Jr. showed poise tonight. He adjusted well against an opponent who, at least for a short time, was awkward and difficult. And then he closed the show with beautiful uppercuts.